I just wanted to add a note that you'll hear this sound a lot, this clicking, which is because I'm on my laptop, and I understand it's really annoying. It's annoying me when I'm watching it back. So I'm sorry, I'll try and figure it out for the next one so it's not as annoying, but until then... Hi everyone, uh, it's Littleton Pace here, trying out a Let's Play for the first time, and it's for The Sims 3, obviously, and it's for the 100 Baby Challenge, which I thought would be the best one because, uh, I don't know why, seems the easiest. Uh, as you can see, I'm in Monte Vista, I think that's what it's called. Um, and this is our baby mama. Her name is Adelaide Michaels. The game has a lot of CC and mods, so it lags a little. Um, bit of reading there. So, the idea of this game, if you haven't heard of it, well, this challenge is that she has to have a hundred babies in her lifetime. Uh, they can be by as many different males as we can find. Uh, she can't have a job, but she can make money by selling paintings or she's going to get out a garden because she's got this fancy garden. Look how pretty it is. What a weird fog over it. Huh. I've never seen that before. Oh no, I think it's because I messed with the graphic settings. Anyway. Oh, fuck off. Oh wait, if he's a guy, we can take him as our first baby daddy. She doesn't know anyone, I just moved her in. Um, ooh, is it a guy? Quinn. Hello? Now, I don't know what the etiquette is for um, using the cheat, the try for baby cheat and the woohoo cheat and making it easier, so... Oh, good God! Oh, shit. I don't want you. That's for the Into the Future expansion. If you haven't got it, don't bother. It's pointless. Um, okay, now so we know him. So he can just... oh, I forgot what I was doing, you stupid thing. Okay, she wants to get married. Join the colour. Well, she's not going to join that because she can't. Um, I was going to say my settings. Uh, I put her on uh, Epic for her aging because... She's got to have a hundred babies, so she's got to be older. Um, why can't I find it? Okay, so I changed the lifespan to epic, and turned up the young adult and the elder. I'll turn it up even more. But I kept the baby, toddler, and child relatively low because it would be extremely difficult to play with a hundred toddlers. Although that would be a good challenge, I suppose. Okay, something is up with her face. Like I said, I have a lot of mods, so. Oh, that's probably what's effed up her face. Oh, she looks like a blob doll. Oh, hang on. She must have accidentally hit... Oh, she really does look like a blob doll. Okay. I'm back. I sorted out the garden, no more fog. And she looks less like a blob doll now. Now... I haven't done much, this guy's just... What I was saying before, before I confused myself, was I don't know the etiquette with um, using the try for baby cheat and that, so I'm not going to use her, that was my point. I'm going to attempt to have her romanticize herself with all of them and fall in love, and that way we get lots of jealous neighborhood people. Um, I also won't use cheats for... Oh, good, they like each other. Uh, cheats for, cheats for, I forget. Oh, to make the relationship, where the hell's he going? Dickhead, I just invited him in. Side note, how freaky is that costume? Anyway, I'm eating a lollipop, that's why my voice is screwed. Yeah, so I won't use cheats for to make their relationships high, even though that would be really easy because you can just click that and it goes up so high. So that's the idea. 
very happy in her little life here. Now, eventually, we're going to have to have a bigger house. I don't know. I'm going to be interesting. I have a lot of cheats that I don't intend to turn off. So I have, like, the Woohoo cheat and Try for Baby cheat and the Master Controller cheat and Portrait Panel and all of that, which I don't intend to turn off because it will screw up my other games, but I won't use them in this one. The Portrait Panel one will be interesting because you can get, as far as I know, three rows of eight of their little faces. So that'll be interesting. So that'll be what? 24, if my math is wrong. So we got 24 in the house. But we'll see. What you watching? God, this TV is shit. My house is so boring. She only has one bedroom. Why oh, an extra bed? No, she has two bedrooms. Oh, okay. So, alright. Give me a bit of time. I'll build up their friendship and then we'll come back to it and see if we can move him in. His name is Quinn. As I said. I forgot to add, I had, I used a cheat to get her a nice enough house. But I didn't want to um, keep all that cash, so I took her money down to um, two grand. So she'll have to live off that for a little bit. Let's invite this guy over. Where's his picture? Oh, oh, that's him out of his gear. Huh. Oh well. You win some, you lose some. Invite, invite, invite. Anyway. Oh, what a dick. What the hell did you bring that friggin' university box to my house for? Alright, well, eventually he'll come over. Persistence. Okay, so Quinn would not come over, but he would agree to go to the Flying V's coffee house, which, funnily enough, is right next door to this house. Oh, there he is. So let's see if we can hook them up. Look at them thinking of love and kisses. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's a. Oh, I should. Maybe I should take you through her things. I just made her flirty, natural cook, family oriented, hopeless, romantic, and nurturing. I don't know if that doesn't. This is her family tree. Empty. So, she'll have a hundred babies coming out of her soon enough. Blah, blah, blah. Let's get them. See what he does when she flirts. Oh, he likes it. Oh, good. Okay, this will go easily. I'll see if I can get him to move in. I generally am pretty, pretty quick at getting these things together. I'll get him moved in, and that way babies will be easier. I, pl I play a lot of the game on the three speed. I don't, I can't remember if the gender preferences thing is part of a mod I got or part of the game, but it's a fun addition. Except most of them tend to say so and so is undecided until you start hitting on them and if you're a female and you're hitting on a female they'll go gay. And if you go same sex they'll go straight. Ugh, yeah, that's his career. A lot of money in that? Alright. But I'm not purposely not romancing him because to get him to move in, the easiest way is to get friend be friends with him. Oh, I suppose you can romance him and that'll get that thing moving. I should be talking to all these guys. I hate this jock nerd, whatever the other one aspect is. Okay, so I just had them chatting for a while until this option came up to move in, and then I'll get him moving. Hopefully agree. And this all Yes, yay, yeah. Move him in. So my idea here is to get... Uh, oh, he's a cat person, oh no. Um, is to get her pregnant with baby number one on her first night in Monte Vista. But before I do that, I'm just going to have her 
meet these guys because we might need them later. Oh, there's another one there. I can't move for him. All right. It's a weird thing to say. Oh, I should opt her out of a celebrity system. Oh no, the guy my way. Okay, that's right. Oh, there's a ghost. We'll ignore him. Isn't it weird the ghosts act like normal people? Let's just see what they do for a second. Oh look, they're just chatting. Normal as you like. What's he th Is he talking about teeth? He's talking about his teeth. How patient she is listening to a ghost. I like her skirt. Oh, now they're talking about desks. Oh, how interesting they must be. Oh, good. He's suitably bored. Nope. Oh, he's floating away. Nope, oh, no, he's walking away. Now he's floating. Now he's standing. Oh, now he's sleeping. Oh my god, ghosts are weird. Okay. Now let's send you home, because we do have a plan for you. Oh, I'm just such a run home now. Where's the boy? Oh, he's there. Okay, now let's hook him up. Should I get them married? I don't think I will. Maybe they can get married later. There we go. Okay. So let's hook them up. Baby time, baby time, baby time. Yes, I'm aware of that. I picked her trait. Yeah. Oh, they're in the cheap bed. Alright, we'll sort that out tomorrow. Get in the damn thing. You too. Oh, don't you need to go to the bathroom, bastards. Here we go. I can't remember if I turned off that sound. That we're having a baby sound. I don't know. My way around that, usually I play it on mute, is um, I just happen to have sex over and over again. Oh, he's got that weird thing where his mood won't go down. Alright, I can sort that out. Okay, I forget. I forget, I forget. I'll turn on the sound and see if I can hear them. It might be a sound effect. I hate that clicky noise, that's why I turn it off. Wake up. Okay. No, don't go downstairs, you shithead. we go. Oh, but it won't make a sound effect because she's already pregnant and won't make... Okay, I'm assuming she's already pregnant. There you go. So, that'll be the end of my first video and we'll come back and hopefully she has been knocked up with baby number one. And part of the extra part of the challenge I'm doing is I'm going to uh, alphabetize the baby names. Well, starting with her. So her name is Adelaide, so her first baby's name will begin with a B. Next one with a C, you know. Let's get a good look at this guy. Oh, he looks like a serial killer. No, do you know what he looks like? He looks like one of those ventriloquist dummies. Ugh, 